Hey there, this is Santi from Just Paint. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the new Pro Paint by Graftobian. Um, these are new paints um, that Graftobian just launched. They're made in the US. And uh, I did find some of their colors really, really nice. Uh, the one that I love the most is the one I'm gonna show you right now, is their silver. Um, and you can see it's very, very creamy. Uh, which is actually pretty nice and the silver is like flakes of has like flakes of silver and I'm gonna show you how it goes it reminds me a lot of uh, the Krylon silver their metallic silver not the inference it's very nice it's really really creamy and opaque like super opaque um, it does tend to if you rub it off once it's dry to kind of flake like little just flakes of paint I don't know if it, yeah you can see it there all those little flakes that's kind of what happens when it dries if you rub it off otherwise it stays really nicely containers are very similar to paradise containers a little bit smaller they actually have um, let me see how much paint 28 grams of paint uh, a paradise has 40 grams uh, let me show you just so you can compare to a, a, a container from Paradise. So, they are, it's just very hard to tell the difference, uh, uh, but they are a little bit smaller. You can see it there in height at least. So, anyhow. Uh, I'm going to show you another couple few colors that I really like. Uh, they were missing some colors. Uh, they ran out of it. They had to run a new batch. So I have. I don't have them all. I hope I'll have them all soon. But I'll show you what I have right now. This is their gold. Also very, very nice. Almost like the... Like the Meron Gold Powder, which I guess is like the... The, the goal for every face painter is to find a paint that behaves like the Marin Gold powders. And I would say this, uh, it's pretty close. Uh, very, very nice color too, very opaque. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you their, they have neons too. Uh, I'll show you here. They're labeled though as, uh, as we know, they're labeled as not intended for skin, uh, this is for hair, nails, clothes, accessories, props, etc. But anyhow, I'll show you how it looks on my arm. This is their, I don't know what's called, shocking pink neon. And they have also a neon orange and green and yellow. So there you can see their shocking pink. I'm not crazy about their uh, Pearl Frost. Uh, kind of reminds me of Krylon PV. Very soft consistency and very sheer in my opinion. Um, you know, it could be nice for some kind of effect, but as a solid color, like uh, as a base color, if you're trying to get something opaque, I it wouldn't be my first choice um, anyhow I think there are better options with other brands uh, I know they're still working on their formula uh, these guys just launched this paint and I know they're getting good advice from some professional face painters uh, so things might change and it's probably gonna get better over time but anyhow I'm saying but like 50 times this is like a Copper color also really nice. It's called Clockwork Copper. Really, really nice color. Super opaque coverage. Very metallic looking. Um, they have a pink that I really like. It's actually called Mega Magenta. You know, we don't have many magentas uh, that are not neons in our industry. Global has the first one I ever tried, which is really bright. It's uh, brighter than this one. This is more like a dark magenta. Uh, it's very very nice color too. Uh, consistency wise in the cake, uh, the uh, regular colors feel a lot like Paradise. Um, I would say that they can compare very easily to it. 
Um, so that's their their magenta. Um, and then I know everybody wants to see black and white, so we'll we'll do black and white. Um, I found them opaque, uh, at least when used with a thick brush. I haven't tried line work, so we'll we can try that together. I don't think you can do line work on top of these. At least the gold and the silver. We'll try it, but they seem like they're gonna kind of reject the paint. I don't know how to say it. Uh, but here goes the black, and I'm loading the cake in front of you too, so that you can see. But one brush stroke, well loaded. You can see that the paint is kind of raised there on the brush, but it's uh, it's really nice, really really nice. And I'm gonna get the white. And I'm gonna pause for a second. All right, I'm back. Uh, sorry, I need to change my water. Uh, I'm gonna load the white. My brush is kind of dirty, but. We'll do our best. And that's with one brush stroke. And then I'll just work it out a little bit more. But very nice. We'll do some line work. Uh, I'm not extremely good at these, but doesn't matter. You can still see what the paint does. So I'm loading my brush with the uh, black and I'm just gonna go across let me see let's try to do some teardrops sorry I'm blocking you guys but can't figure any better way to do this with my cell phone Anyway, uh, you know, I think it's like with any paint that is not wax based, it's not uh, as awesome as you would say, Diamond FX, Wolf, Chameleon, Tag, uh, but it's still good enough or as good as it can get, I would say, for the, the non wax based paints. Um, I wasn't really able to go over the silver, like I said, it's kind of rejects a little bit the paint um, I don't know if you can see you um, that was kind of expected anyhow and then we'll do a little uh, swatch of their like a teal Aztec turquoise uh, just to see teal tends to be a color that stains so we'll test that out on my skin and that's my skin and each skin reacts different to paint differently uh, so you know what might stain to some not necessarily will stain others we'll try a different parts of my arm uh, but I do want to show you if I just slide my finger like let's see and that's gently I still get uh, that kind of thing but it doesn't happen to all of them I don't know like the magenta I just got the the black but I didn't get any any magenta the silver and I'm pressing pretty hard and I'm not really getting anything pressing hard I got a little bit of that magenta Oof. let's see but if I do it lightly not as much the teal is still drying so I don't want to do it um, let's see the white well, it's still a little wet, uh, so anyhow, let's pause it while they dry, and then we'll get back on that. All right, so I am now going to wash these off, um, and I'll see if I can set up the phone uh, in front of the sink so that you can see me washing them off, um, and we'll see together how it's a stain factor. I also put a little bit of red there so that we can see that's another color that sometimes stains. So I'll pause and we'll sit in, uh, we'll go to the sink and see how it washes off. All right, so I hope it's not too noisy. Um, just put some liquid soap that, and rub the paint. You get a nice brown pole kind of color. Remembering the Wolf Brothers. 
Uh, and washing it off. My sink is going to be really nice. Um, that's the teal there. Uh, it definitely stained a lot more here. We'll probably have a lot more dark skin, uh, more dry skin than here. But, you know, teal is a stainer. And we'll rub a little bit more with some more soap. Without hurting the skin. Uh, and then I'll dry it off to show you the final result. And I'm not going to do any tricks here or anything, just show you what it looks like. So, I'm sorry for my scar guys, I hope I'm not grossing you up. But anyhow, there's the, the teal, definitely a stainer, but nothing different than from almost every other brand that I have tried. So, I hope you like my review of the new Graftomium Pro Paints. Uh, we're definitely going to be trying them out and I like them uh, a lot. Uh, price point for these guys let me pause and then I'll tell you the price all right so the prices I'm reading them um, are $13 for what would be a standard or non-metallic non-neon color uh, $19 for the pearl frost the metal uh, for the pearl frost $16 for the metallic silver and the metallic gold and for their neons uh, and that's that's all so uh, we'll we'll see more about these paints uh, later we're gonna be trying them out to uh, the zombie list and seeing how people like them I think they're gonna be sold there um, so if you are by the zombie list you might get a chance to try them out yourself thanks for watching bye bye